Arizona Superintendent of Public Instruction Tom Horn is in the middle of big changes in the state school voucher program. He's been a proponent of the vouchers called the Empowerment Scholarship Account or ESAs. Tonight he weighs in on the status of the ESA program. Team 12's Allison Rodriguez explains the one thing that the teachers union and the superintendent say that they're both in agreement about. My main duty is to the public schools. I think this will make the public schools better. Superintendent of Public Instruction Tom Horn believes the Universal School Voucher Program is the incentive public schools need. Because they know if they, if they don't want a student to leave to go to a private school, they need to make a bigger effort. The program has grown to include roughly 60,000 students, but the funding is where things get muddy. Arizona Governor Katie Hobbs' office is projecting a $319 million hole in the state budget because of it. Horn says she's not accounting for public school students who switch to private, which he says will cost the state less money in the end. The expense is not what's being projected because of the offset that was not included in the calculation according to the formula that we got from the legislation. I asked the teachers union president about the ES. What would you like to see done with the school voucher program? Yeah, I think the school voucher program um, is going to be a lesson on misinformation. The program is projected to cost the state around $900 million. Arizona Education Association President Marisol Garcia says it needs more oversight. We don't know how that money is being spent. On the reverse, if you go to any school district, you can ask where every single dollar is going, and they have to share that with you. The ESA program has had a rough few weeks. Two administrators abruptly quit. There was a possible data breach on the site that processes families' purchases, and AZ Attorney General Chris Mays has vowed to step up oversight. And I asked Horn about those resignations. So nothing inappropriate happened? No. no wrongdoings, no. anything like that? No. I did find one thing Horn and Garcia agreed they'd like to see less of, and that standardized testing. Somebody did the math and it was something like 50 to 60 hours um, each quarter that we spend assessing kids on a standardized test. We would love to have deeper conversations with him about that. And Horn says he's open to that. I'm anxious to work in a bipartisan way all the time. That's, that's, uh, that's the way we achieve for education. And after the superintendent, uh, Tom Horn, was interviewed, the top ESA administrator in his office was implicated in that data breach. She has since resigned. Team 12's Bram Resnick has reported in-depth stories on the school voucher program's expansion. You can find those stories at 12news.com, and you can also catch part one of Allison's sit-down with the superintendent there as well.